Hey guys, welcome back. We are continuing our journey through Pokemon Fire Red, the Nuz Lock Challenge. And I've taken a couple of days between the last episode and this episode. Um, Butterfree is gone. <laughs> I'm still not over it. I'm still not over it. I think what I was going to do was I was going to... I was going to um, try and catch some more guys. But um, I think I've got a change of plan. I think there's going to be a change of plan. Because I was doing some... I was looking at the uh, walkthrough. I've played this game a million times. I was looking at the walkthrough online of the legit Pokemon that you see um, in your... The legit Pokemon you see out and about. And I think the plan was I was going to like fish on each place. But then like, because I've got the Great Rod... Because I've got the Great Rod, um, do, yes, oh, what the fudge, I've got one, two, three, four, who's our fifth? Oh, yeah, Butterfree was our fifth. Uh, um, do I want, do I want, uh, move Pokemon. I know we, we don't need Zigzagoon yet. But we might just take you instead. Just, no, we better not place you. Move. Shift. Get rid of you. Yeah, so this first two minutes of this episode is me just moving shit around into my boxes. Great stuff. Um, I don't want to risk you dying. So uh, I'd rather have a team of four... I'd rather have a team of four badass Pokemon and one HM slave than a dodgy than a dodgy bloke who might might or may not be able to win a fight. Um, yeah, um, yeah. So in between episodes, I was looking at um, the people. If you go fishing, if you have a good rod, you get. If you have a, a, a old rod, you have Pokemon that are like level. Um, Pokemon that are level like five, with a great rod, with a good rod you have Pokemon at level fifteen, and with a super rod you have Pokemon at level thirty. And you know what happened when we had Pokemon at level thirty? We might have fudging lost Butterfree. So I don't want to risk it, and I until a I have a decent Pokemon that is able to hold his own. Uh, it was able to put the guys to sleep and whatnot, and um. And, and Ultra Balls. I want some mother fudging Ultra Balls. Because Great Balls and Poke Balls are crap. So, we things are starting to pick up now in this uh, playthrough. And we need to treat it as such. So, um, yeah. We're just going to stick with the story arc so far. And I don't think I will catch any more Pokemon. Until uh, I actually get, any, I get some Ultra Balls in my system. Because uh, it's no good. It's no good trying to like... Because it's getting to the stage now where the where the ladybug, where the um, the Pokemon in the wild are going to start like being absolute arseholes. So we need to we need to treat them as such. Treat them as such is what they want to be treated as, and they want to be treated like arseholes. So we're going to try and throw everything heavy on them we possibly can. So that's the game plan. So we're just going to continue on with the story, and then hopefully, fingers crossed. Oh, you mother fudger! I hate this guy. Um. Things will work out. Things will start working itself out. Because I'm reeling still from losing Butterfree. I don't know if you noticed or not. <laughs> this whole... This is... This is... Uh, Pupitar. This is the whole thing about having a Nuzlocke. Is that you feel attached to your Pokemon. And I definitely felt attached to Mother Fudging Butterfree. Sex Wiz. You know, not only because I've used... I've, I think it's just because I've used that Pokemon for so many years. Like, I used it in my Red playthrough. Um... Um, I, I always catch one because it makes things easier to deal with when you're... Because he learns all those status effects moves. So I've always had one in my team whenever I'm playing any Gen 1. Gen 1 back in the day when I was playing all my Gen 1s. And I played like Fire... Well, I played like Pokemon Red and Blue. I had like Red, Blue and Yellow. I played... I had Yellow but I never completed it. Um, I think I just had it for the sake of having it. I played Blue and Red 
endlessly, over and over and over and over again. And you can guarantee Butterfree was the one that was always in that team every single time, just because of the status effects you can do. I think in Pokemon Blue, you can Oddish was an exclusive to Blue, so I may have switched Butterfree for um, Oddish. But you can guarantee in every single playthrough I did of Pokemon Fire Red, of Red, the original game, back in the day when I was a kid, I had a Butterfree. So I'm super upset I've lost one! <laughs> and these stupid, this stupid roar, I can't resuscitate him and bring him back. Pain in the ass. Uh, tackle him, see what happens. Tell Whip. Good move, Psyduck. Good move. Moop Moop, I had a look at your moveset, mate. You, you do hopefully learn a few stuff later on. Uh, but not, yeah, in like 40, in his 40s, he started learning some half decent stuff. We need to get you up there, mate. We need to get you up there. Mud shot, baby, mud shot. And also, as well, I'm like, I feel like I'm making like stupid mistakes now this week because I maybe. I've got my backlog back, basically, but I've like set myself a goal. I think I may have mentioned it in a previous episode. Instead of thinking, oh, I'm gonna produce the minimum, the a minimum, the minimum requirement for me to break even because I produce two episodes a week on YouTube is um, 14, 14 episodes, seven days, two episodes each, blah 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 blah, maths. Um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, he's good. So before I was very much kind of like thinking. Oh, I need to, I need to break even. Oh, no, I need to make videos to break even. But then I wasn't getting anywhere because sometimes I'll have like an off day or, you know, something gets in the way. Something gets in the way and then I'll only produce 12. And then another week I'll only produce 10. And then maybe I will produce 14 and I'll stop at 14. Um, uh, and then I was ill for a long time. So all my backlog disappeared over time as the course over like Christmas and um, stuff like that. So... Um, yeah, um, so I've kind of like switched the goal in my head. Instead of saying, Sam, you've got to make 14 episodes to break even, I've said, double it, double your output. Whatever you, whatever your output is, your input has to be double. Um, which has really helped me out a lot, just to kind of flip the script on myself. Um, it's kind of helped me out a bit because this is now going to, this is going to be the 20, because then that means that I need to produce 28 episodes in one week and then I'll make it I'm, I'm putting out 14 so I'll have 14 in the bank which is ridiculous when you think about it um, is that super effective no it isn't I thought he's like part rock but meh um, and so this is actually episode 26 <laughs> that I've made this week and uh, it's been fun it's, it's, it's awesome I'm loving it you know it's awesome I have to like do it in between of like going to work and during work I'm actually on lunch now at the moment so <laughs> um, yeah it's been it's been fun it's only Friday as well I can potentially bust out more uh, on Saturday I'm either gonna do a live stream on Saturday night of like a PS4 game either Bloodborne or continue my one that I've done on um, the Uncharted um, game because I've never played those games before it's one of those games one of those series where it was like you've never played Uncharted so I've got like the, the the collection of the one two Uncharted one two three, so I'm playing them. So I might give that a, a live stream, or I might do some more recordings to actually make some episodes rather than one big giant live stream on a Saturday night. Um. Uh. So yeah, that's yeah. So my output at the moment is crazy. So it is kind of maybe taking its toll on me in the background. It is it is hard work to kind of like constantly pump out all these motherfudging episodes. Um. And they haven't been even as well. Like like when I was on the SSN, I was on there for a good half an hour. <laughs> I could have split that in two. <laughs> so I've been like a proper idiot. My output could have been better. Um, but still, to e to even like come close to the the target of my my new target of 28 um, is ridiculous. It's crazy. Um, problem is though, I'm recording them. I need to edit them as well. So I need to find like a a, a point in time where I can like edit them all as well. Um, but hopefully the way that I'm setting things up now makes things a little bit smoother. I record things, I, I used to record episodes, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start episodes. But now I find that like, but, but now I find like, if I just 
Oh, I'm going to have to pull you out, dog. Um, if I um, record one long big episode <clears throat> and do like points in between the episode where I can just like talk to myself and say, hey, Sam, edit this out. Hey, Sam, edit this out and all that other rubbish. It helps me out a lot. It really is quite useful. So that's what I'm doing in the background at the moment. I like, like now I'll try and be cheeky and record three episodes. And in between the episodes, I'll talk to myself to say, hey, edit this and start from this point. I've got my timer going on my phone and stuff like that. So it's a very professional setup. I like to think going on here. Uh, so we yeah. are. God, I've been waffling. <laughs> I've been waffling and murdering Pokemon at the same time. I'm holding my control pad in a weird way as well. I'm holding it up to my chest. The microphone is down on my knee. Um, it's down on my knee. And uh, I'm holding my... I'm trying to hold my control pad up in the air. So you can't, you can't pick up me just constantly pressing the A button. Um, or the X button on my PS4 controller. Um, yes. So that's... I had a big old moan then, didn't I? What's going on here then? I am infiltrating Team Rocket's goddamn mother fudging stuff and things so at the end of this as well you get a Lapras don't you so I wonder what crazy mother fudging um, Pokemon I'm gonna get instead of Lapras that'd be interesting our rivals at the top as well Giovanni's there for the second time as well so that's gonna be interesting so um, yeah their Pokemon are gonna be around the f they're gonna be touching 40 well, as soon as the higher I get up this 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 chain now this building these these guys are gonna get more and more trickier because um, you gotta think now. The the, the the grunts have got the Team Rocket grunts have got Pokemon at level 28. They took that dude down. He was level 28. They're they're a boss, and my rival is gonna have a big, better, bigger, and stronger, and faster, and sexier Pokemon. Uh, you're not, dude. So. I'm going to try and do what I did last time when I played this on the original red version is to um, is to just do as many of the Team Rocket dudes as possible and then and then um, go back and get the key, get all the items and then talk to the dude at the top. So um, we get the maximum amount of XP and we get um, all the items as well. So Sonic BOOM! So that should be the jams. That's what we're going to be doing. Intruder spotted! Oh yeah, I interacted with you. I literally walked up to you and was like, fight me. So that's the jams. Nidoran. Dude. Like, I can't believe my Nido, Nido King is like friggin' 25 and this dude's 28. Um, let's give him the old mud shot. See what happens, see what happens. He doesn't like that, does he? He doesn't like that ground type move. Good man, Moop Moop. You, as I was waffling along then and about all that backgroundy stuff, you have been cleaning house, my friend. You, sir, you, sir, are amaze balls. Ninkada. Now this dude, I think I can get one of these. Oh no, yeah, I have one of these. But um, I'm thinking as well in the background when I do another grinding grindy session. I should have used water gun. Um, is to raise this guy up that I've got. And make him evolve into the two Pokemon that you can get. So he, he, he evolves into like a like a scarab flying thing, doesn't he? As well as the shell of a of the bug. I can't. Just, I'm not describing it very well. I apologise. But um, that one that he the, the other evolution thing. It he, he seems quite weird and wonderful. It's almost like a. Is it part ghost and bug? I'm not 100 percent sure. But I know it's a pain in the ass to hit, and he, that might be good enough and awkward enough to like be useful to catch Pokemon. Oh mate, you're gonna learn something new. About bloody time. Um, yes please. Muddy water will be, is 95, accuracy 85. Hmm. Get rid of tackle. There you go. Muddy waters, baby. Get them muddy waters out. Love disc. Baby love disc. Um, get him down with your uh, mud shot. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Good stuff, good stuff. And then heal yourself up to one, one, three, six. 
good stuff. It's like he's never, it's like you've never been tickled, Moop Moop. Like you've not even had a little tickle. Who are you? I am retro, baby. I am retro. So guys, I've done plenty of waffling in this episode. Apologize. I don't know if it's entertaining or interesting or whatnot. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Come back in the next episode as I continue my journey through infiltrating this Team Rocket building in my playthrough of Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke Challenge. Cheers then, guys. See you then. Bye-bye.